I, I want to ask you about that first. Uh, the New York Times reporting that the former vice president, um, you know, that the committee had sort of presented as was likely to cooperate. Uh, may now be is unsure about doing so uh, and that he believes, uh, according to The New York Times, he's told aides that the committee has taken a sharp partisan turn by openly considering the potential for criminal referrals to the Justice Department about Mr. Trump and others. W- what do you think about this, Norm? This is pretty significant and could put the committee in a position of having to make a decision uh, about, you know, a subpoena for the former vice president. Um, Aaron, uh, thanks for having me back. Uh, I think the committee has been cautious about predicting who will and will not cooperate. But there is nothing partisan about a congressional committee uh, making criminal referrals. It's a common practice. And Aaron, if the evidence indicates that crimes were committed, it's vitally important that the Uh, 1-6 committee, send that evidence and its legal analysis to the Justice Department. And we heard from the attorney general last week, he was careful and he was measured that um, he will uh, not uh, play any favorites, that he will do justice in this case. So he's ready to receive. Um, Mm. I I think that it's Mike Pence who may be playing a little bit of politics here, getting a little bit of cold feet. But let's remember, we've seen this dance back and forth before. We need to see how it plays out. But the committee must make those referrals. And Dana, you know, it's interesting, of course, uh, the vice president has been negotiating, right, his team with the committee uh, since last summer, right? So this isn't new. But, you know, this coming out now, uh, you know, they do say, um, Mr. Pence, in his view, um, these these. 